Hi, it's me, Kendra. Let's discuss the news. Yevgeny Prigozhin was confirmed by the Russian authorities to have been killed in Wednesday's plane crash near Moscow, along with other Wagner leaders. Vladimir Putin has signed a decree with immediate effect for all soldiers of private military groups like Wagner to swear allegiance to the Russian Federation. It's unclear what exactly happened on that Wednesday afternoon, we may never know, but all that we know is that Putin has one less headache to put up with. Donald Trump is the first US president with an official mugshot, taken when he turned himself into the authorities on August 24th, as he's been indicted for racketeering and a handful of other charges. The picture went viral, to say the least, it's still making its rounds across the internet, and the Trump and Trump's official uh, campaign for president has taken full advantage of it. Honestly, if I ever get famous and end up in jail, I'm gonna do the same thing. I saw this tweet from one of our most popular MEPs, uh, who said that at this uh, mugshot picture uh, could mark the end of the Republic of the United States. And I'm like, eh, no, 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 no. Yes. The Republicans and the Democrats have been butting heads, but they've always done that. And um, the country went as far as having a civil war uh, between the two sides, as far as I know. And um, one side took the L, or most of them did, and moved on from it. The country still uh, stood still. So I think it's an exaggeration from uh, Verhofstadt. I don't think that the United States will end. This doesn't mark the end. It's just a bump on the road. But I could be proven wrong too. Let me know what you think we'll have of these news and follow me for more news discussions. Bye!